What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again, and as you can see, I have my Eclipse workspace up here on the right, which is a great IDE for Java programming and other languages. And today I want to show you how to make your IDE look like it is on the left, where you have kind of a theme, where you have a dark theme instead of kind of this boring white, which you see a lot of programmers use in Eclipse. But there's actually a way, or someone made a way, to use a very nice GUI related theme in Eclipse which you know has a nice dark side and it's actually really easy to install and that's what i'm going to show you in today's video so really what you do is you go to this link you go to github you do go to github slash glory slash eclipse ui theme i'll have the link in the description you can just click it if you click it'll be the first thing there and the really easy way to do it is he has this button and says drag this button to your clip eclipse workspace and install and you know what you can literally do that and that's what i just did right here and as you can see, it's resolving, blah, blah, blah. And then it wants you to confirm that you know you wanna do it. You say, okay, wait a little bit. There's nothing to update. That is because I already have it installed. Stupid me. So I already have it installed, but you would click um, update and then that all go good. And then also what you need to do after you install that. So after you click next and click finish, you want to install, you want to get this raindrops.epf right down here. It's right below the picture. And the way you want it, you want to download it so you have it and you want to you want to right click and click save as link. And then when you click that, you want to click save. I already have it downloaded. And then once you do that, you want to go to Eclipse and you want to click, you want to click file and you want to click import. And then you want to click general and you want to click preferences and you want to click next. And then you want to open that file that raindrops file i have it all the way over here sorry and then what you do and then so once you have those things you want to go to eclipse you want to go to sorry you want to go to wind no sorry prep you want to go to eclipse preferences and then once you get preferences open you want to go to general you want to go to appearance and then theme Mac and you want to change it to moonrise and then that can be standalone and click apply a restart is required and then say okay and then we're going to restart eclipse because it says you know i need to restart it and that's what we're going to do and then hopefully everything is gucci And as you can see there, everyone, now even this little thing's black, it changes a lot. And let's make a quick project to demonstrate that everything is working. I'll call this project main, we'll click finish. And let's see what we did. Let's make a source file. Yeah, let's just call it hello. And there you go, so I can do public static void main and then let's not give it anything and there you go i can do siso system out print hello and as you can see now i have some really cool colors and let me run this baby this bad boy and let's see selection does not contain a main type is it main with a capital m I'm just I'm just messing with you guys here, but as you can see, it works. Something else has messed with my clips, but that's not the point. It shouldn't mess up your clips, and so that's pretty cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And see now you have a cool clips workspace. I'll see you guys later.